in. Is everybody scoring tonight? And what was once a 3-1 game is now an 11-1 Dodger. Laffer. I don't believe this. Fernando has come out in the on-deck circle. Oh, this is great. <laughs> This is the bonus for all the Dodger fans who stayed for this. That's one. right. Going to the ninth, 11-3 Dodgers. Here's the ground ball. Booted by Opperman. Ball is slugged, so the Phillies will not go out quietly, that's for sure. Base hit. You're, you're kidding, right? It's 11-5. There are still none out. If you're starting to think about trotting upstairs and heading for bed not so fast uh, oh, but Lafferman boots it 11-6 to quote John McEnroe you cannot be serious Paranoski to the mound Cruz is warm Opperman was not oh boy Murphy with a shot to left one run is in two runs are in it's 11 to 8. A Rod Serling special at Dodger Stadium. And the pinch hitter, John, I am not a crook, doesn't have the long ball power. John Crook was standing out in the field, looking up at the clock, thinking, we're not going to make it back to the hotel in time for room service. Room service closes at midnight. And so he started thinking, well, if we're not going to get back in time for room service, we might as well win. Stabbed them with their steely knives, but just couldn't kill the beasts. Well, look at this. A hopper against the wall. The Phillies have grabbed the lead 12 to 11. You can't blame Tommy Lasorda for what he's done. The Dodgers got so far ahead that Tommy Lasorda decided he was going to take out virtually all his starters. There's nobody left. Chris Quinn. The Phillies beat the Dodgers 12-11. This game is once again proof that at the Hotel California, you can check out anytime you like, but you can never leave. Well, Chris Berman at the top of his game <laughs> with all the references and